Hey everybody, welcome to episode 3 of Star Wars Battlefront 2. Uh, that's right, I'm recording this the same day I recorded the last two episodes, just because I want to create a giant backlog, because I know I'm going to be way more busy than I am right now in the future. So anyway, this is Felucia. I think that's how you pronounce it. And uh, yeah, there's a droid presence here and it, it threatens the Republic. They must be destroyed. This one's really up front, we're just going to take out some droids. It's been said that the 501st got the best of the war. We also got the worst. Anfalusia the Seps dug their metal heels into the muck of that alien hellhole and dared the Republic to come in after them. So we did. Only to be met with the month after month of flesh-eating diseases, shrieking nocturnal predators, and other sights that haunt me to this day. Cut off and for all we knew abandoned by our superiors, our only hope was Ayla Sekuda, our Jedi commander. Without her iron will, none of us would have come out of that mess with our sanity or our lives. When her death came, I hope it was quick. She earned that much. Yeah, so he pretty much gave a pretty big spoiler there by saying her death Alpha came quick. Under attack by some kind of creatures. Get up there and give them some support. And pretty much the narrator talking is, uh, is... Well, is is probably talking as a stormtrooper. He's he's looking back at his memories. Yeah. Uh, okay, this thing is out of commission, and pretty much we're we're at a very de defensive standpoint here against um against horrible creatures and droids. That's pretty much what's going on here. So yeah, we've got this giant scary monster called the Akale. Um, and they're pretty much native to Felucia, and they're the worst things in the world. So, yeah, they seem to be in place, so, yeah, they don't seem to be coming at us, which is good. <laughs> I'm not complaining. But maybe they're just focused on other people. Oh, no, yep, this one's, this one's coming close. Oh, God. No, don't kill him. Don't kill him. Yeah, these, uh, these guys, I think one of these is in episode two of Star Wars. Um... Yeah, where they, where they tie Padme, Anakin, and Obi Wan up on Geonosis, and one of these is one of the one is one of the monsters that they end up like. Uh oh, oh, it's gonna stab me! Run, run, run! Oh my God, it's getting way too close! All right, let's throw a grenade in there. That's right. Uh oh, oh, I blew up my friend. I think. Hopefully not. <laughs> oh God, nope. Yep, I definitely killed one of my friends. Oh well. Only one more left. There it is. Yeah, so the the narrator is pretty much talking uh, from when he's a stormtrooper. Why is it after me? Um, and yeah, the 501st end up having to kill a ton of Jedi under the orders of Palpatine. Yeah, and Sakura, Ayla Sakura, who is the Jedi who's helping these guys out, they end up uh, they end up killing her in episode 3, when everything goes to shit, pretty much. What is that up there? Oh, it's just a plant. Who are we defending from? I don't see any droids. Oh, there's the droids, yep. Yeah, this is definitely a hard level because of just the scenery. Die, die, die. Alright, let's try to, let's try to push up a little further here. Oh no, I needed to reload. There we go. Uh, who are we missing here? There's one more. There he is. Yeah, the landscape is very, very busy. Oh, I think I just shot my friend. Yep, everyone's getting in the way. There we go, he's dead. Yeah, this is kind of a chaotic landscape here. Oh, nice. Someone's got a shotgun. I should probably die just to be able to get one. Alright, kill me. Kill me, I want a shotgun. Kill me! <laughs> oh my god, he would not kill me too confused. He's just a dumb robot. Just buttons and clockwork, or whatever that quote from my robot is. Uh, we'll have one of them kill us eventually. Yeah, this seems easy right now, but I'm sure, I'm sure it'll get pretty difficult. The AI of these guys are pretty dumb. Shoot me! Shoot me! Come on! There we go. Uh, where'd he go? There he is. They're not using their rockets on me, which is kind of surprising. 
I also might have it on a, a lower difficulty. Let's try upping the difficulty, actually. Where are our options? We end up coming here, like, every single time. There we go. We'll switch it to Elite. So, hopefully, that should give us a little bit of a challenge. Uh-oh. Nope. Oh, are we completely out of ammo? Alright. Take me out. Okay, I guess not. I guess we'll just get out our infinite ammo pistol. There we go. Finally. Now give me that shotgun. Uh, yeah, this guy. Wow, right when I get the shotgun, suddenly we're Ayla Sakura. There we go. Alright, looks like we're going for yet another power cell. Oh god, we just got sniped. Alright, we've got ourselves the power cell. Uh, we can take out a few droids while we're over here. Oh, god, I am not doing well. There we go. Um, yeah, I've got the power cell, and now I'm coming back to the ATTE to get it powered up. There we go. Nice. The fungal tree. Sounds wonderful. Oh, wait, I thought there was a droid right there on the minimap. Oh, there he is. He moved a little from when I last looked. Need some help, guys? No problem. Okay, never mind. He just died. Ow! Oh my god! That monster just destroyed me! Alright, we're gonna do a little sniping. How about that? Sound fun? Sounds fun. Um, oh, I can set up like a, uh, a defense turret here. Yeah, we'll, we'll set that up over... Oh my god, are these tanks? Alright, we'll set up uh, the defense droid right there. So that should just automatically start shooting things. Um, yeah, and then we can do a little one-shot sniper skills. Oh, there's no reticle when you're just hip-firing. That's kind of silly. Or actually, it's probably not that silly when you think about it. What's our objective right now? Probably to destroy these things, right? Uh-oh, great. Something just went inside it. And I threw a defense droid at it. <laughs> that was silly. Oh, no, I just completely overshot. Yeah, this is not going well. Can I hack? Can I hack this thing? No, that's the engineer with the shotgun that I should have picked. Uh, alright, I'm gonna kill myself. Oh, that didn't kill me at all. Can I get in this? No. Uh, I just need to switch who I am. I really just need to change who I am. Shoot me! Shoot me in the face! Shoot me in the face! I don't want to be this person! I don't want to be a sniper anymore. I want to be a- I want to be a hacker engineer. Oh, come on. Just shoot me. Do I have to put myself in your barrel? All I want to do is die. Kill me! Kill me now! Oh my god, there we go. I had to line myself up for a direct shot to the face. There we go, this guy will be a lot more useful. Now I have a shotgun and... That's right, a fusion cutter. Which should hopefully allow me to just hack straight into vehicles and take them over. Instead of just standing by them, sniping them in the face. Which doesn't really work well on vehicles, believe it or not. Wow, this thing's empty. Didn't even need this. Oh, okay, actually, it's gonna blow up if I stay in there. So let's hack into this guy. That's right. And this guy is just fine. Slicing. 30%. 50%. We're almost there. 70. 90. And 100. Let's get inside. Let, I said let's get inside. Why can't I get inside? There we go. Alright, we're now inside the tank. I think we just kicked somebody- Oh wow, there was an empty one right over here. Can I go up the fungal tree in this? Yes, I can. Ha ha ha! Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, that was awesome. That was an awesome shot. I'll pat myself on the back for that one and not even- not even feel bad. Alright, so here is the other- nice. Just sniping him around the side. Another one over there. And last one right there. Ouch! Ouch! No! Somebody got in the damaged one. Uh... Oh, I think... I think we're good. There we go. Nice. That was a quick one. <laughs> I said it was gonna be hard, but it wasn't. When the 501st was finally rotated out of Felucia, Ayla Sakuda made a point of seeing us off personal. Calling us the bravest soldiers she had ever seen. It's a good thing we were wearing helmets. Because none of us could bear to look her in the eye.
Yeah, you can really hear the guilt in his voice, because he, he probably was one of the people that had to kill her in the end. So, yeah, this story is really cool. Thank you so much for watching, everybody, and I'll see you guys next episode.